Our company began in 1990 in Aspen as a brew pub, and in 1994 we moved to Denver, became a package brewery, and in 2000 came to this facility. But the whole flying dog concept started a few years before that in 1983, when our uh, owner, his name's George Stranahan, he's a gentleman who lives up in the Aspen area, he went on a hiking trip with uh, 12 of his buddies. The story is, uh, we call it the flying dog myth, and it's you know up for interpretation, and, but uh, as, as the story goes, him and 12 of his friends, calling themselves amateur mountaineers, decided to hike up K2. They just got done reading a book about the first gentleman to do it without oxygen, and they got inspired. So they ended up finishing the hike, came down, luckily all alive, and uh, what do you need when you're done with the most exhaustive thing in your life? A beer. So they stopped by this local uh, Pakistani hotel to have a drink, and on the wall there's a picture of a flying dog. As we all know, dogs don't fly, but nobody told this particular dog it couldn't. And the premise is, it's kind of this naive innocence that stands for it's amazing what you can achieve when nobody tells you you can't. Nobody had ever started a brew pub in Aspen before, so they figured, why not? If we want to brew the best beer we can, we want to, you know, invoke thought, inspire people, inspire art. Let's kind of throw caution to the wind and do stuff people aren't, other people aren't doing. And we won a, a bronze for our Dogtoberfest, which is a... Uh, traditional Oktoberfest in Martz and it's our fall seasonal beer. Last year we won a silver for our Gonzo Imperial Porter which was our tribute beer we brewed for Hunter S. Thompson when he died. Um, we won for our Old Scratch Amber Lager. Uh, we won a gold medal for that which is actually the second year in a row we've won gold for that beer. We had tied for a brewery of the year. They call it Mid-Sized Brewing Company of the Year. Then as they went through down some of the tiebreakers we ended up losing out to another brewery but uh, it's, it's progress and hopefully this year we improve on it. Ralph Stenman's the artist that does all our artwork for our labels. Our owner, George Stranahan, was longtime friends and neighbors with Hunter up in Aspen. And Ralph is most well known in America for doing all Hunter S. Thompson's illustrations. Hunter being the mutual friend, Ralph came to visit Hunter, introduced the two of them, and uh, they started talking in a bar one night over some drinks, and uh, that's kind of how they facilitated the whole idea. The Road Dog label um, has a quote on the bottom of it by Hunter S. Thompson says, good people drink good beer. Ralph was being filmed by the BBC when he was doing the original label and spontaneously wrote, good beer, no shit, across the label. Unfortunately, the ATF didn't see any humor in it and tried to pull it off the shelf, citing obscenity. We hear Flying Dog kind of don't like to be told what to do, so uh, we took him to court over freedom of speech, and it took us four years in court. The label actually said, good beer, no censorship, during the court battle till uh, we won the case. We've been successful because People like to drink a good product and you can do anything you want to get the beer off the shelf but it's not a quality product, they're not going to come back to it. It's, it, it's a good time. It's, I, I never wake up in the morning and feel sorry about myself for going to work.